Hey, you guys. You know, as I sit here in my backyard, and you might hear some noise across the next door because neighbors are in the pool. But anyway, as I sit in my backyard, and I, I look at all of the civil unrest that's going on. It's, you know, all the marching and all of that. Man, marching haven't changed anything since the Civil Rights Act of 1963. I'm just being real. You, you have to look at what's going to make a change. And what's going to make a change is simply this. Money talks. Money is what motivates and what changes laws. When they brought us to this country, they brought us here to boost their economy. They brought our forefathers here in change, forced labor, to boost their economy. That's what it did. It boosted their economy. Now, right now, our brothers and sisters are getting locked up. Why? To boost their economy. Hmm. They're boosting their economy. So what can we do to change that? And this is just not for people of color. This is for everybody who believes that this is this thing that's going on is uh, wrong. Hey, y'all guys, I see you guys coming on. What can we do to change this? Simple. Big banks run everything. They run the politicians. They run the court systems. They run everything. Take your money out of these big banks, put it in your credit unions, and quit shopping. If you're at home, which they have already taught us how to stay at home in this quarantine. If you're at home, they can't arrest you. So the jails ain't going to get full. Right now, you're out there marching, and they locking up 10% of you for what? To bring up, you boosting their economy. you paying the lawyers. you paying the court systems. you just paying them to lock you up. Take your money and stay at home. We don't need, we, come on, we got clothes in the closet with tags on them. If, if, if you ain't got the clothes, just... Get, Go on a diet. You still got that size 5, that size 37, 38 waist in there that you ain't worn in a long time. It'll be brand new when you put it on. We don't need anything, okay? You might need something for the kids because they growing. But other than that, we don't need nothing. We got closets full of clothes. Closets full. You got cars. You got bikes. You got everything you need. Move your money out of big banks. Put it in your credit union accounts. And when they start seeing a migration of millions of accounts moving from Bank of America, moving from Chase, moving from all these other companies to these little small banks, the laws will change. Until then, why are you marching? And then you want to march at midnight. Come on, man. What you trying to prove at midnight? If you're going to protest, protest at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm there with you all the way. And we're going to go home at noon, okay? I ain't going nowhere at 7.30 walking up and down those street. For what? I love y'all. But I'm telling you right now, when you walk in sin, as long as the enemy can get you to sin, you're God. They know your God won't rescue you. They are not afraid of you. They are afraid of your God. But they're not afraid of your God because they got you in sin. <laughs> Bottom line, line up with him and things will change. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. I would say I can't say it no other way. You want to change something? Change their economy. What do you need? You don't need nothing. Stay at home. Pay off your bills. Get your credit score straight. Focus on that.
Get your credit score straight. Focus on that. This marching up and down the street, tearing stuff up, they just getting you on camera, and then later on, they're going to come arrest you, and you're going to feed their economy some more. Why? Because of ignorance. There's no laws that are going to change. They're going to listen to you. If they was listening to you, why, why would they charge this guy with third-degree murder? Third-degree murder carry a 10-year sentence. Are you kidding me? That ain't even a slap on the wrist. They're not listening to you. They don't care. The only thing that works in this society is money. Take your dollars. And I'm telling you, I don't care what color you are. If you believe this is not right, take your money and move it. Move it out of their system and put it in another system and watch things change. But until, the, and it's got to be massive. So share this. I'm not the only one that can move my money. You have to move yours. Your neighbor have to move his. Get everyone that believes and know this is unjust to move their resources to another banking system and watch things change because guess what? They don't want to lose your money. As long as you give me money, I don't care what you do. You can march up and tap your neighborhood all day long. And I'm going to sit up at the top and say, look how crazy they are. Now, instead of going to the corner to get some groceries, they got to go three, four miles to get some milk that was in right there on the corner. That's crazy. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, that's all I got. I'll be on tonight with my uh, ministry, but um, I, 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 I sit here and I, I just I sit here and in awe of how we expect something to change and we're doing stuff like this. I don't even, how can I invite you to the table and you, you burning the table down? Don't make sense. <laughs> anyway, I, I, ain't nobody went in that cop neighborhood and burnt nothing up. Y'all crazy. Anyway. Y'all have a good day and move the money. If you ain't trying to move your money and quit shopping, get you some groceries, get some gas for your car and go home. That's it. And work on your credit card debt. Get that stuff out the way. And leave this craziness alone. Because now your family got to get bail money Put money on your books because they're going to give you some time. Why? Because it feeds their economy. Y'all have a good one. And I'll talk with you later. Bye.